In this video, we're going to switch from focusing on applications of integrals to studying integration techniques. And the integration techniques will be our focus throughout chapter 8. In section 8.1, we're going to start by recalling what we know so far about integration techniques, and then look at what integrals we can evaluate by combining the different tools that we know so far. So what are the tools that we know so far? We know our various basic integration rules. And just to review our basic integration rules, we have our basic integration rules handout here. So these are things like our integrals of x squared, x cubed, integrals of 1 over x, integral of e to the x, the integrals of our various trig functions, including the integrals of tangent x, secant x, cosecant x, and cotangent x, um, which were reviewed in an earlier video. Um, we also have our integrals of things like 1 over 1 plus x squared as arc tan x, um, 1 over the square root of 1 minus um, x squared as arc sine x, and the integral of 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 1 as arc secant of the absolute value of x. So I'm just highlighting those 15 through 6, uh, excuse me, 15 through 17 there in case those had, had gotten forgotten before, because we do see especially the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared come up quite frequently. So we know we need to be comfortable with our basic integration rules. So what else do we um, know about integration techniques so far? We know about using um, algebra and maybe some trig identities to simplify some sort of integral. Okay, so we know that there's various algebraic tools or trig identity tools that we can apply. And we also know about the integration technique of U substitution. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at throughout this section is how we can combine these different tools to integrate um, maybe a little bit more complicated um, functions than, than you've been working with previously. And then we'll be moving on into future sections in Chapter 8 and looking at more um, integration techniques which help us integrate even more types of functions. Um, one set of formulas here that I wanted us to review first um, were just the half angle formulas for cosine squared and sine squared that are useful if we want to integrate um, cosine squared or sine squared functions. So cosine squared has this formula of being equal to 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2 and sine squared x is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. Um, one way I remember those those two formulas is we notice that they basically have the same form. They're 1 plus or minus this cosine of 2x all over 2 and I just remember that uh, sine is the negative one because sine is like sin and that's bad which is negative. So you can do kind of silly things like that to remember some formulas sometimes. So we'll see those um, formulas get used in one of our later examples. 